Hello, good afternoon everybody, good evening. So, yeah, this is my slide. So when we, when I work in the field of climate change or disaster response, we never start with a good photo. But I can promise I will end with a nice photo. So this is the blaze called Kotla. It's in the Kullu district. In the night of 15th November 2015, there was a fire incident in this place. And over the night, 94 people, 94 families, they were homeless. Like in the morning, entire village was gutted to the fire. And this place, where it is situated, you can't go by the road. You have to hike or track to reach this place. So like in the night when they informed the fire tenders, okay, there is a fire incident, you need to come for a response. So fire tender was there, but it was 5 kilometers before. So they really can't do anything in this case. So this is the situation here. Like most of the time, there are a lot of fire incidents in the remote spots of the Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. You can always see in the news. But why it is happening? In recent year, there are so many cases increasing. So why it is happening? So these are the traditional water systems in the mountains, mountain region. And we are started neglecting these knowledges. This is the indigenous knowledge we protected for thousand years. Communities were put using these knowledges for the thousand years. So what used to happen? Like, so these were the water streams when the hydrostatic pressure comes on on the surface, the water comes directly on the surface or it starts flowing like this in the water spring manner. So people in earlier times when they used to have this knowledge, they used to store in, in step format. So like one step they will format in the tank for the water uses like drinking water, water for the kettles. In second they will utilize the water for the, you can say the washing clothes and everything. But in recent time, when the like government is, uh, is started installing the water tank system, they started giving the pipelines to the houses. So slowly, slowly, uh, people started leaving this kind of system. But in times of emergency, like in this, uh, uh, sorry, in this case, there was a water tank of 7,000 liter in the village. But that particular night, because of there was no electricity for five days. So water was not available in that water tank because they couldn't lift the water from the river to fill the water tank. So the government ka sara system hone ke baad bhi, ye pura ka pura gaon jala, uska main reason ye tha ke humne apni jo indigenous knowledge thi, jisse hum isko protect kar sakte the, wo hum nahi kar paaye. And in earlier times, people used to collect the water to deal with this kind of uh, fire incident. And this is a very traditional place you see the architecture, it is called Katkuni architecture in the Himachal Pradesh. And this architecture is kind of vernacular, masterpiece of the vernacular architecture. So you see this tower, this is Chani Kothi tower, it's almost 800 years old tower. And it's made of wood, stone, mud, nothing else. It don't use any nail, it don't use any cement, nothing at all. And it's totally made by the local community. No engineers, nothing. And it is situated on the 10,000 feet height. You can imagine you can't take a single bag there to buy hiking and they have made this kind of tower. The height of this tower is 120 feet right now. In 1905 earthquake, in Kangra earthquake, two uh, stories of this uh, tower collapsed. So it was earlier 170 feet height. And so it also uh, like uh, served as a defense fort in the earlier times. So you see there is a stairs in the down. So what happens? Suppose if someone is attacking the village in the older times. So what people used to do? They used to climb the stairs and get assembled in the upper part of the building. And they used to like So nobody could actually uh, reach to the people and this village situated in such a way like when you climb up, climb up in the mountain you can't see this village until you reach this place. And yes, and this is the temple in front of the uh, tower 
so this is a chani koti temple and we did the conservation of this temple as the part of our one project and apart from the like infrastructure engineering done by the indigenous community there is a social engineering also so you see there is a devta so you must have heard that in the mountains they have a deity uh, kind of uh, system so every panchayat every village they have their own devta so it is a devta of their local community and all the natural resources like forest water and everything they use by the orders of the devta they have certain ways to talk to their deities so like if they need to cut a tree in the forest they will first ask the devta then by the permission of devta they will cut down the tree and so like in earlier times when they people need to make a build a house they used to need a wood so devta told them you need to plant a tree 10 years in advance to make a house so so think about that indigenous knowledge you are not thinking about today you are thinking 10 years ahead like if you need to build a house you have to plant a tree today devda tree today so you can utilize it later and so like now i will come down the house system so you see that this is the upper part you can see the sketch there so in the upper part of the building the people live there jo family hai wo us upper part mein rahegi niche wale part mein jo hai wo gai bhains ke liye wo utilize karte the so by the heat of the cattle jo unka live stock hota tha uske uske heat se jo upper portion tha wo heated rehta tha so in the times of snowfall kyunki mountains regions mein snowfall bahut zyada hota hai so जो अपर पार्ट है उससे उनको ऑटोमेटिकली हीट जनरेट होती थी एंड दे यूज टू सर्वाइव विंटर सीजन वेरी वेल एंड जो आप जो नीचे वाले फ्लोर में जो गेट के साथ में छोटे छोटे विंडोज जो देख रहे हैं ये स्पेशली डिजाइंड हैं चिड़िया के लिए एंड मधुमक्खियों के लिए सो दे जस्ट नॉट थॉट अबाउट दैम सेल्फ दे थॉट अबाउट द गाय भैंस मधुमक्खी चिड़िया एंड एवरी इफ वी मेक अ हाउस इन द इंदौर और डेली वी मेक इन सच अ वे कि कोई चिड़िया या गौरिया भी अंदर ना आ जाए सो दे थॉट दिस इज द इंडिजीनियस नॉलेज ऑफ द कम्युनिटी दे थॉट अबाउट एवरी थिंग देअर एंड दीज नॉलेज आर स्टिल लाइक लाइंग डाउन अराउंड द माउंटेन्स सो इन अवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी हैव इनिशिएटेड सेवरल प्रोजेक्ट सो वी आर कॉन्जर्विंग द काटकुनी हाउसेज वी आर कॉन्जर्विंग द काटकुनी टेम्पल्स वी आर कॉन्जर्विंग द वॉटर रिसोर्सेज वी आर मैपिंग दैम then we are working them with with the help of community and we are also finding such documents these documents are more than 1000 years old and lot of uh, remote people community are still holding it these script are written in tankri scripts and there are very less people available right now who can read the tankri scripts and these particular documents are about the medicinal plants of the mountain region and the astrology so again we have uh, parties uh, like collaborated with the community we are collecting all these documents and we are trying to find researchers and uh, people who know tagri who can translate and conjure the documents this is so again with the help of the community we talk about the indigenous knowledge we organize the training programs awareness program with the community we also learn from them and we try to find out the solutions of the modern day situations like in the current situation when the climate change happening lot of floods lot of fire incident lot of landslides are happening every day so how we can learn learn from that indigenous knowledge and respond to those situations and we are also collaborating with the local mela mandals local self help groups so there is a huge situation of the migration in the remote mountains so we are like trying to revive the uh, traditional livelihoods there we have trained uh, females and uh, we are building like a small uh, units of the livelihood so where they can practice their livelihoods and sell the items directly to the market this is one photo from the last year so you must have heard that there was a huge floods in the mountain region especially in kullu kullu mandi region and these kind of floods indigenous knowledge also get affected this is a uh, you can see it's a traditional gharat it's kind of chakki so isme electricity ka koi use nahi hota it only works on the water and gravity 
they have such an indigenous system, so it works on that only. So in last year flood, we were, our organization also collaborated with the local government and we also worked in the emergency response with the government. So we evacuated almost 60,000 people after the floods in four days. So, and we are working both like when the floods or something happened, we also initiate project to protect the indigenous knowledge and heritage and culture. So we did a like a very in-depth uh, assessment after the floods, what impact has happened on the heritage sites on there. Again, we are doing a lot of activities with the communities. And uh, so what is the vision of our? So we are creating this center there. It's an indigenous knowledge research center there. So we are building this center and we are inviting all the universities, all the researchers, historians, artists. Like, if you don't have any particular background in that subject, you bust, but you just have an interest, you please come and join us. So we have tied up with local farmers group, local communities, lo local artisans, and local uh, self-help groups. So we place the volunteers who want to learn from the community about the indigenous knowledge. So we place the volunteers with the local community members and they learn from them and we also request come incoming volunteers like scientists or researchers they try to find what they can uh, what how they can develop the solutions from uh, those uh, indigenous knowledge in the modern times so our aim is to mix the indigenous knowledge and today's scientific knowledge so we are working on that so yes this is my talk i hope you people have enjoyed it and yes, welcome whenever you are coming here our center. Thank you very much.